I'm Tamika Isaac Devine. I'm a wife, a mom, an entrepreneur, and a city councilwoman. Hello, I'm Jamie Devine, a husband, a father, and a community chair. I've been married to my wife, Tamika, for over 15 years. Join us as we interview some of our favorite couples, hear their stories, and be inspired. The secret to our successful marriage is that we are very intentional about our date nights. Hello, I'm Jamie. Hello, I'm Tamika. And we, we are, are the, the Divines. Divines. And welcome to tonight's episode of Date Night with the Divines. People are always telling Jamie and I how much our love and our marriage inspires them. And so we decided that we wanted to introduce you to our friends, the couples that inspire us. And so tonight for Date Night with the Divines, we are so excited to have our good friends, Walter and Jennifer Reed. Jennifer is director at University of South Carolina and Walter is an engineer at the Department of Transportation. They are also owners and entrepreneurs with 49 Magnolia Blossom LLC. Welcome, guys. Appreciate you being with us well, tonight. Thanks for having us. I'm so oh, glad yes. y'all are here. We, you, we've been you. trying to hook this up for a while. So. That's right. Yeah. That's Absolutely. Right. So I'm That's glad right. we were doing that. And we're tonight, we are actually dining at The Grand, which is a great new entertainment venue down in um, Main Street. So anyway, we are going to hang out. Uh, we're going to do some bowling, play some games, have some food. But most importantly, have some great conversation. That's awesome. right. Very awesome. good. Sounds so great. as we always start, we when we have our guests, we just want to know. So tell us a little bit how you guys met and then a little bit about your families and, and maybe your careers and then how you um, um, got to know uh, each other a little more intimately. Okay. Um, yeah, you go. I'm, I'll tell us. I'll tell us. <laughs> but uh, are we going to be accurate? I'm going to be as accurate as I can. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. All right. Technically, we weren't really supposed to meet. Okay. In a, in a way. Okay. Uh, Jennifer and her friends had come to Georgia, I was at school at Georgia Tech. Okay. And uh, they needed a place to stay. And her cousin is my fraternity brother. Okay. Um, and he trusted us as, as much as he could trust us <laughs> by saying, do not talk to my cousin. Okay. So I wasn't really supposed to even conversate with her. And uh, so we went to the game. I met her at the game, Georgia Tech, South Carolina. Who was? Georgia Tech. Don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, was brutal. It? Yes, it was. Yes, it okay. was. It was uh, I think it was a shutout. But it's don't. So brutal. Uh, <laughs> so we get back to my apartment. It's a lot of guys and her friends. And we're just sitting around. And I'm not really talking to her. Nobody's uh, talking nobody, to her. Nobody. Because we had gotten the word. Right. <laughs> and we going to. Try to honor that brother code. That brother right. code. He said, hey, leave my cousin alone. I wasn't going to mess with him. That's good. So, say. what were you thinking? Like, what's wrong I'm with me? I'm like, do I have something on my <laughs> face? I mean, I brushed my teeth. I mean, you know, so I'm like, no one is talking to me. What is, what's going on? Yeah. So, I just sat down on the couch, yeah. watched some TV, and uh, Walt was sitting with his back to the couch watching TV. And I struck up a conversation with him. Yeah, but I really didn't want to talk to him. He was very, I mean, yeah, you he were a little scared, standoffish. No, no, I just, you just, I, just, I'm, I'm just still following. Uh, yeah, just just following. he was very um, standoffish. Uh, and and I didn't find out about this until later. Eventually, okay. he did start talking. Right, Good. because yeah. she had, uh, this was before cell phones and internet right. and all that. Mm -hmm. She had tracked down my phone number, mm -hmm. and she started calling me. Okay. And this is how I remember I it because it's traumatic. This is how you remember it. She was uh, pledging at the time. Okay. Also, yes. she had just started pledging. So she started calling me at like 2, 3 in the morning. And I'm like, man, I'm tired. And you know how you get brainwashed when you're like sleep deprived? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I fell into that. Oh, and it was a whole bunch of sleep crazy. deprivation. <laughs> and I, she, I guess she had like, you know. So I took advantage of that? She took advantage of it. Oh, okay. Of a young man, <laughs> a, poor, a poor country boy from Mississippi. That's it. Not That's wise it. to the ways of. Of a city, city, city girl. <laughs> all right. So, all right, yeah. Now he started off really nice. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was, 
Right. Mm-hmm. It, it really just happened. Yeah. It really did. Um, we became friends. Um, I think you might have been trying to see someone else at the time anyway. Um, yeah. I was pledging. Yeah. So we we both had things going on. Right. But yeah, I did need some support at two in the morning, you know. <laughs> you had I, just pledged. I just pledged. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So it was really more of a friendship. It and, really and, was. Yeah. So yeah, that, that's right. good. And that's actually been a, a constant theme that a lot of our, our guests have talked about is the mm-hmm. importance of establishing that friendship first and exactly. how that's, that's really, really important. Mm-hmm. So for y'all, it was, it was long distance at first. So how, how did that work? For, yeah, it was long for, distance the entire the time. relationship. Oh, wow. really? Yeah, wow. he was a student at Georgia Tech, um, ended up um, at FAMU, mm-hmm. Florida. Uh, I was still here mm-hmm. at Carolina and okay. did grad school here okay. at Carolina. So how often did you guys get to see each other? Um, when I was in Georgia and Florida, maybe once a month, once every two or three weeks, mm-hmm. I'd drive up. Uh, every now and then she'd come down. Okay. But when I, we say we always dated, mm-hmm. we did not live in the same town until two months after we got married. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So even after wow. you got married, you were long yeah. distance? Right. Because, he ended up yeah. with a job that's, yeah, that's in strong. Mississippi. So. That's strong. Mm-hmm. Right. That's yeah. strong. It was, that's strong. So I was paying an apartment for an apartment in Columbia and mm-hmm. living in Mississippi. Right. Wow. So, so that is good. So tell us about that. I guess it's for having that long distance relationship. How were you able to really nurture? Because clearly y'all weren't seeing each other as, right. as much. Right. So mm-hmm. how were you able to, to nurture and, and keep your relationship growing uh, when you're not in the same town? Right. I think the best thing that happened for us is that friendship first. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. We became, it was like we had to force each other to argue. Yeah, we you never, know, yeah, we we never, never really argue. argued about anything. Yeah. Um, and I got scared, you know, I mean, are we really going to date and have never disagreed on anything wow. or had a disagreement? Mm-hmm. Um, so I, had, I think I fabricated a little <laughs> argument, yeah. you know, a little argument just right. to see just how to see. he would react. Right. Um, but it was really the friendship, I think, mm-hmm. that sustained um, the entire relationship. Wow. So how did y'all know y'all were like the one for each other? And then when did y'all decide that it was it was time to get married and, and make that commitment? Uh, Accuracy son, matters. My son told asked me that question the other day. Uh-huh. Asked me, uh, when did you know? When do you know? I was like, your mama told me. <laughs> <laughs> your mama that told is me. True. Your mama told me we was, we was, we was gonna get married. All right. Yeah. We were meant to be. All right. Yeah. But uh, I think one day we she had come to Atlanta. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't know if this was the time you rode the bus or not, which was, you know, I yeah, was like, was, you know, you ride Greyhound right. to see anybody, you really yeah. want to see that person. Yeah, that's, mm-hmm. that's strong. Mm-hmm. But we had gone to um, Piedmont Park. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, we were walking around, so walking awesome. around, talking. And I don't know how long, I don't know how long we looked. Five minutes, ten minutes, one. But she looks now and four leaf clover. Ooh. Really? So it's but the grass is covered with clover. It's all clover it's everywhere. Clover, everywhere. And we just happened to be walking and I looked down and there was a four leaf clover. Yep. Wow. And, and then, I still have it. Yeah. Wow. And, and I still have it. Was, it was uh that's awesome. I think we were probably talking as much as we could talk. I don't know, a year, year and a mm-hmm. half at that time. Okay. Because, you know, this was in 88, 89. Right. It wasn't like, yeah, you yeah. couldn't do this. No. Yeah, we had to make an effort. Yeah. 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 No, we were yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> it was when that, that, was, that was probably when you just probably started getting called waiting back then. <laughs> you know, well, it wasn't called, well, we had called waiting, but you had to, uh, this is when you had to wait for nights and weekends when you got free. Oh, free. free. That's yeah. right. Yeah. 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 Nights and weekends yeah. were free. Yeah. Right. Right. After 10 o'clock, you yeah. had to right. pay like 10 cents a minute. There you go. Right. right. You're right. You're and at call. Carolina, you know, right. yeah. those bills. Yes. They add up. Yeah, my, they add up. Because my dad would send me a check. Uh, spending money. Spending money. Right. And he'd always put in a little note section, not to be spent in South Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> so... 
for me. He knew where I was going. Right. That's, <laughs> yeah. right. That's yeah. right. You know, gas was That's a right. dollar a gallon you could get out. Right. And, you, know, right. you could do some things. Right. But right. right. It's true. Yeah. It's true. It, 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 I mean, really it helped right. being long distance because being an engineer, you know, at Georgia Tech at the time, it was kind of demanding. Right. That's and it's tough. you would hate so. for, you had to be a special person to date an engineering school. Especially right. tech. Yeah. Right. Because you can't, like, I want to go out on Friday. Hey, I, I can't go out on Friday. Right. Studies. Exactly. So yeah. you had something out. big going on. And right. then when she was in grad school, you couldn't just, hey, let's right. go somewhere. No, right. I got to read. Right. Mm -hmm. like, so, so, you, so you had, so, you got, so in the visual, you had your priorities. Whether right. it was, Correct. Whether oh, it was yeah. grad right. school for Jennifer right. or whether it's work for you, Walter, mm -hmm. which is good. So then tell us a little bit about, um, uh, once you all got married and then you moved back into Columbia, is that? I moved to Columbia. Well, I mean, right, moved to Columbia. Mm -hmm. So how was that? So a little bit before you guys had had children, and mm -hmm. so what did y'all do, I guess, to uh, continue with uh, keeping the marriage alive and, 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 and keeping the, the flame going, as it said? Mm -hmm. Well, neither one of our children were planned. I mean, okay. You know, how you try to schedule your life out. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and we just... We're trying to be married right. in the same town, yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, you know, right. for uh, a little while. So it just, you know, when it happened, it was like, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> and, and that's why it's probably what you said. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so so um, oh, and no. going into our first pregnancy, it was um, really exciting. Mm -hmm. um, being pregnant was fun. Um, it was really nice and hmm. watching and feeling this little life inside right. of you. Um, so it was really interesting, interesting adventure right. for both right. of us. Right. However, this was a preterm, a preterm baby. So okay. um, we, our first one was uh, premature, okay. um, and he was uh, his the intestines hadn't formed properly, oh. so. That was called necrotizing enterocolitis, yeah. okay. and they usually call them neck babies. Okay. okay. It's when their intestines kind of um, gangrene, and uh -huh. so they had to go in and have three surgeries uh -huh. to uh, repair all okay. the damage that it caused. Um, they had given us a 40% chance that he would survive. Wow. Um, huh. And the uh, nurse told us when we went in there, only 50% of the marriages come out. So being new to marriage, right. basically, yeah, you, you still ain't answered his question. But well, that was good. Question. That was a good answer. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> no, no, what you, what, what no, you no, did? No, no, no. What's the question? Was, good, what are we gonna do between when we got oh, married? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But no, but this is a good story. I mean, though. that I, was I like, yeah. okay, what did we do? Because it was like this much time. Oh, it was. I mean, we had fun. We went out. We did mm -hmm. little things as much as you can on a starting teacher salary back in the. 90s and uh, early 90s yeah. and a beginning <laughs> state employee salary and you know uh, get the best you could what you had right that's and good we get one that's of the good. best things we did we couldn't afford arts oh in, yeah on the walls uh, yeah okay but we wanted our place to be colorful and lively and have um, some semblance of art so we did puzzles oh okay so yeah. that's what okay. our and then you frame the puzzle. We mm -hmm. glued yeah. them okay. together and framed them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was good. So that was, was our good. Work. I still have them. It's yeah. So good. When you yeah. when you when you are allowed to put a puzzle piece in. Oh, okay. Okay. You know, so we know she, who the puzzle master is. Right. <laughs> you know, by, by the time you I understand. By the time you find it uh -huh. and you say, Okay, she's already grabbed it and, and put it in for you. So I'd always like kind of take one. Uh -huh. And hold it. And hold it. <laughs> I can at least. <laughs> he just wanted to put the last piece. Oh, you can at least get the last one. Yeah, Amen at you. Amen at you. So, yeah, Amen at you. Well, you know, we did puzzles. Um, my family's big into sports. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we did, uh, we used to go to the Ford A&M Bethune-Cookman game. Okay. Classics. The classic okay. on uh, Thanksgiving. Yep. Uh, we did Final Fours. Okay. Uh, did you, you did the uh, Cosworth series? I did not. Oh, that was after. 
But we did a lot of football games, right. basketball games. We watched right. a lot of sports. Okay. You know, just so y'all spent quality yeah. time together. Oh, yeah. Although oh, yeah. you were just starting out and all. All right. So twenty six years later. Well, before we go on that, I okay. think back to Jennifer's story though, because okay. what she said is, you know, as, as a couple who has lost a child, mm -hmm. um, we were, you know, we were told that when we did counseling and that kind of thing is that a lot of par a lot of parents who lose children don't their marriages fall apart and right. so for us it was really really important to be right. able to talk and communicate right. and we always say because we were friends so i mean mm -hmm. just what y'all went through with ac being in the hospital and surgeries and that kind of stuff it really does go back to what you're saying y'all had that that friendship yeah, and that right. foundation right. Right. helped mm -hmm. you guys through all the stress of of being there for, right. for your son and if you think about the story I told before about not ever disagreeing mm -hmm. and not having an argument, mm -hmm. um, that really, the stress of having a sick child um, mm -hmm. and the loss of a child, having that stress in your life, mm -hmm. you really have to put effort mm -hmm. yeah. into yes. making sure that that communication is there between the yes. both of you and the understanding. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not going to um, approach this um, struggle, this challenge, in mm -hmm. the same way he's going to struggle right. and accept it. And we had to be accepting, accepting of one another's process. Right. Mm -hmm. right. And right. that That's was, true. yeah, mm -hmm. so that That's was true. the biggest thing. And That's then true. just amazing, amazing, you know, miracle baby. I mean, AC sports and played football. Yes, and and how old is he now? 24. Wow. 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 And then Sydney. Twenty-four and a half. Twenty-four and a half. Twenty-four and a half. That's and right. Sydney is how old? Twenty-two. Yes. So born and a girl. Born and a girl. girl. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. Oh yeah. So then. No, you were going to ask um, about. Yeah. So, so so then been married twenty-six years. Mm -hmm. So to get you to kind of where you are to to today, what were some of the um, things that you learned along the way to kind of help keep you all? grounded keep you all together what were some of the things that you did as a family then as a couple to kind of keep you guys grounded well i mean we still do sports mm -hmm. okay okay we, i mean the uh sydney played basketball okay mm -hmm. she played volleyball she played a little bit of soccer when you were younger when she was younger mm -hmm. uh, ac played soccer all the way up until middle school played golf in high school played football ran track and AAU this, mm -hmm. you know, so mm -hmm. we were year round right. going. Okay. And I guess that allowed us to spend a lot of time together. Yeah. Right. And bond as a family unit. Because on the road. when Sydney was playing basketball or AC, when they'd go out of town, you know, we'd all ride. Right. There was no... Hey, I don't feel, I don't right. feel like going. Right. Everybody, 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 everybody had to ride. Yes. But, um, yeah. So, and you know, we just go, we do things. We like to laugh. Right. Mm -hmm. We, we really, we pick on each other a lot. <laughs> right. Um, That's important. I mean, if you can't take it, right. don't dish it out. That's so right. everybody knows that. Right. It's like right. a standing rule. Um, but we make fun of each other. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I can say AC is probably closer to his mom. Okay. And Sydney's probably closer to me. Right. They have the same kind of personality, a forward thinking, dreaming. That's good. I want to be in a lot of visionary. a visionary involvement kind of personality. Good. Sydney and I are more analytical. We're gonna think about it. We're gonna, you know, if you tell us something, we'll try to we'll remember it most of the time, but we process. Right. They a dream, right. and if we fit together, that's good. So that's good. That's good. good. That's good. So we have got to take a break for our sponsors, but when we come back, I'm going to touch about now that y'all are empty nesters. Let's talk about that. Okay. Um, but we're going to go to break, and before we go to break, I definitely want to say again thank you to our venue sponsor for this week's or this month's episode. Again, we are at the Grand, which is downtown Columbia Main Street. It is a wonderful entertainment video a venue. We have a tap room, which where we are now. They have a game room. They have bowling. They have a full service bar. It is a great destination for friends just to have fun and hang out. Uh, in addition to the the grand, we have our regular sponsors. We've got Dr. Macy Smith. 
We've got Jabber and Isaac Law Firm. We've got, uh, uh, I'm trying to <laughs> stop by Nada. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. stop by Nada. Right. We've got John T. Elliott. We've got Visions Made Plain, um, who is our producer for the show, and uh, Shana Boston with uh, Boston First Administrative Management Services, and of course, State Farm Isaac Insurance Agency. So we will see you guys on the other side of the break. Councilwoman Tamika Isaacs Devine, first African American woman elected to the Columbia City Council. Committed. She is very committed uh, to the improvement of our community. Bold in that she's willing to talk about difficult issues. Not only is she a leader in her community, she's a leader in her sorority. She's an excellent example of what leadership is. I'd go anywhere, anytime to do anything for Tamika Isaac Devine. enjoyed the commercials as well as um, hearing from our sponsors and we want to encourage you please 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 support our sponsors because that's how we can bring the show to you so before we went to break um, we are here today again with Walter and Jennifer Reed before we went to break we were talking about uh, your children and how old they are and so um, now I wanted to ask you guys y'all are now empty nesters and we were kind of talking on the break um, um, as we were finishing up our appetizers about how cool it is because y'all are still so young um, and now y'all are empty nesters. So tell us how, how is that becoming empty nesters and what are y'all doing now to actually just spend time together and doing the, the husband wife thing? Well it has been <laughs> pleasantly, um, it, it's been a surprise how um, fun it is to be. <laughs> okay. Yes. Not tied down. <laughs> and um, just to be able to date all over again. So, thank you. It has been um, a real joy to get to know each other um, again, to go places and not have to pack bags for multiple people. Right. Um, actually, we can pack one bag. We can fly. <laughs> wow. So y'all just get up and go and just, okay, this is us. This we'll is it. We, yeah, we'll see you when it. we get back. Yeah. This is it. We can actually fly. Now, it's hard to fly four people. Right. Yeah. Right. So, um, just five. on the, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, on the spur of the moment. Yeah, without can, yeah. Prior yeah. planning. Even prior right. planning, it's hard to say. I, yeah, yeah, but, you know, we don't have to. Right. That's, <laughs> it. That's the good news. Exactly. It, it really has been fun. Um, the, kids are independent mm, um our youngest is uh graduating from college on may 3rd yeah. at 3 p.m congratulations. <laughs> congratulations so we're excited about that um, and definitely congratulations sydney you said uh she's going to med school absolutely mm -hmm. she Amazing. got into um in usc um yeah. and she'll be there on a full scholarship so Great. we can still fly Right. <laughs> um, and AC is working. Um, mm. He's living on his own. Um, he's still, you know, trying to figure out what his career will right. be. Um, but for right now, he's, he's you know, he's he paying, good. He's paying he's, some bills. He's he on him. That's right. And some of them, yeah, so he's yeah, paying, he paying on most of them. He's That's working good. on them. Yeah. That's good. So That's good. they're, um, like I said, they're they're independent, and that frees us up to um, enjoy. 
one another that's again good. and enjoy that's life. Good. That's good. Recently, um, you guys mentioned, and I mentioned at the top of the show, that you all have your own business now. Mm -hmm. So, uh, being in business together and taking on this new endeavor, what has that been like? And, and, and tell us a little bit about uh, about your new adventure. Well, I'll let I'll kick it over to you in just a minute. I just wanted to say that we are near retiring. Okay. We um, we are el both eligible for full retirement, retirement. Wow. Um, next good. year. That's good. Ooh, yeah, next That's year. That's so, good. you know, we sat down and thought about what it was that we were going to do. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. We were empty nesters, so we have yeah. that time. That's right. And um, we said, well, you know, we've always watched HGTV religiously. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> so why don't we, you know, try to look at some houses and fix them up and um, try to get people in them right. um, so that they can get back on the active tax rolls for the city. I mean, we're just looking at all of these things of how we can improve the community around us. Good. So that is the type of business that we, we started. So we're looking at those businesses, those houses that are boarded up in the city, um, right. not being used by anyone. Um, but then we had the um, tragedy at Allen Benedict Court come about. Right. Um, and we started a nonprofit out of the for-profit okay. business okay. so that we could look at getting those homes mm -hmm. off the city roll okay. of abandoned properties right. um, and possibly get some of those um, residents that still need a place to stay yeah. into those homes. Cool. Okay, cool. so cool. that's cool. that's what we're doing. But that's good. You just went through the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me start. <laughs> Well, let me I'm finish. Sorry. Okay, let you finish. That's no, right. no, let her finish too. Okay. Well, did, did I did. leave anything out? I'm sorry. It I just, mean, yeah. We um we saw a need. Right. Mm -hmm. um, right. Jennifer was talking. She had come home and was talking about all these people that were from community relations council. Right. Mm -hmm. right. She was talking about uh, all these people that are on the waiting list mm -hmm. for home ownership. Thousands. Mm -hmm. And. You know, it's so we started talking about it, and then we, I wouldn't say formed a partnership, but we formed, we met with a financial institution who had some money available mm -hmm. for that situation mm -hmm. for those people, and they had great rates and great, mm -hmm. it's a, it's, it seemed like a great program. Right. Um, so we worked. One of Jennifer's line sisters is a financial advisor. You want to work mm -hmm. with that, budgeting, mm -hmm. getting your credit scores up, that whole kind of thing to get people off of renting. Dependency. Right. So the biggest thing for me was why should somebody rent a house right. for $700 when you can own a house for $500? That's right. Mm -hmm. That's true. A month. Yes. That's true. And you know, that's good. We're just trying to get that word out, and that's good. I know we just started in November, mm -hmm. so we're in the early stages. We're still trying to work through some things, but hopefully, soon. Hopefully, by the end of this month, I'm just going to say it yeah, that right. we have our first four properties. Very good. Um, good. So yeah, we good. have some very good. promising offers out good. there, yeah. and um, it's looking really good. Good. So hopefully, so, we have our first four, and that we can work on. Um, and one of the properties that we're looking at is already being rented good. good however the husband said to my husband that he wished that he could purchase the home wow. and yeah. that's it that's so we that's yeah. our first family that's good yeah. and that's we're going to start that's working with them um there's a first time home buyers program at mm -hmm. the financial institution that he mentioned right. so we want to get them in place with that work right. with uh, my line sister right. to help them with their budgeting and hopefully good. we can get them their own house and we've already figured out what we'll sell the house right. at what their payments would be right um, which is already less than what they're paying right mm -hmm. that's how it is yeah. so so let me just say this real, real quick so so far so that was a goal that you all had and that you all set mm -hmm. so as a couple how important is it to set goals as a, as a couple just real well, quick. I, yeah i don't know that setting goals was what we set out to do because one thing and i know this is going to come into the advice part Good. later but one thing i would advise couples to do mm -hmm. is to grow with one another okay 
and you never know where that growth is going to take you. Mm -hmm. So I, I think I have to caution about being so concrete in your planning right. that you're not fluid enough to move where the relationship and the um, opportunities take you. Right. That's good. So, yeah. That's good. You can grow with one another mm -hmm. and you have to know when to allow your spouse to grow. Right. That is true. That's right. That's you know, right. you can't hold them back just because you don't want to do something. That's right. Like she always says, Hey, go get this, get this for me. Eh, doesn't need that. Right. But when she says, Hey, I want to go get my doctorate go with it yes, and uh, when they open the store on Main Street mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. go get it mm -hmm. and you know I'm not gonna pat myself on the back but you have to sacrifice right that other that other person has to sacrifice and be willing to sacrifice to make relationships work because there's always gonna be some point in time where your spouse will want to do something mm-hmm mm -hmm. And you just have to go out on faith right. that that's what they want to do and you need to support them. Right. And it usually comes back in, in her case. I mean, she got a doctorate and I was like, okay, you got your doctorate. What you going to do? Right. Mm -hmm. what's, what's next? What's next? Yeah. Because yeah. she still was teaching. Right. Mm -hmm. And then it couldn't, what was it, a year or two later? Mm -hmm. the, opportunity the opportunity came thing. came up at USC. Oh, wow. And... Okay, so she was in that because she was prepared. She was in the position just to step. If she in. hadn't had a doctorate, that's right. right. I wouldn't have gotten it. Right, because it's hard to get a position at a uh, high an institution of higher learning. Yeah. Right, mm -hmm. right. As Jennifer Reed. Right. right. You have to be gen Dr. Jennifer Reed. With some right. letters. With some right. letters. You gotta, right. Right. you gotta have something behind you. That's right. Yeah. Other than yeah. junior or senior. That's yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. You have to have You're a little right. bit right. of something. I like that. So, uh, I like that. And it like that. opened the door. It you know, gave us, uh, it allowed her to do some more stuff that she wanted to do while, as in her position. You know, freed up some time, did this. But that's good. That's good. So you supported her throughout these uh, oh, yeah. process. Oh yeah, I was. Uh, and I, I have to commend my husband. He good. really, really has been there. Good. Um, good. Oh, and yeah. I think, not I think, I know it's that foundation that we set oh, yeah. at mm -hmm. the beginning. We were friends first, first. and we were such good friends mm -hmm. that has lasted throughout our relationship, mm -hmm. um, and. It has sustained mm -hmm. everything that we've done. Right. Um, and I don't feel uncomfortable mm -hmm. with doing new things or asking him, you know, well, what do you think about this? Right. You know, right. he's going to give me an honest opinion. Mm -hmm. That's right. And she's he's going to air. Um, right. a, she is, yeah. you know, we talked about our kids being <laughs> like, she is the true visionary. Right. Hey, I think we can do this. I think we can do this. Hey, I'm like, well, let me see. Let's see. That's right. That's right. Step by step. Oh God. Step by step. And there's money know, that. Like, if, there's, oh, if there's money involved, I'm like, eh, that's right. That's it. You just that's analyze it. it. And yeah. so you have to analyze and, it. Right. But you have to be open enough to say, hey, you pump your brakes right. on that. That's right. And do it this way. Mm -hmm. And then we'll get. To and then we'll try to get to the end, end some kind of way. But we can't go the method that you're trying right. to go right now. Right. That's good. Mm -hmm. that's that's good. And and us. You know, our, our theme song says at the end, says marriage is a partnership. Mm -hmm. And that is, I mean, it's a partnership mm -hmm. and, and everything. Mm -hmm. My my amazing supportive husband, he <laughs> always he uh, uh, he always has the last question for our guests. So. Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. And amen. <laughs> <laughs> Silly. But, but just before we end, um, I do like to ask couples who've been here uh, with us before, what advice or what would you say to a younger Jennifer or to a younger Walter um, when it comes to marriage? Um, looking at the future as a couple and then to even season um, persons who are married what would you say to them about your marriage and how it's been successful over the last 26 years 20, going on 27 years go ahead go ahead no no <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, I do I would say run but run toward love alright um, 
I'm assuming that you're going to have that foundation of friendship, mm -hmm. but that friendship can turn into a very loving relationship that is true. Mm -hmm. um, it is authentic. Mm -hmm. It is, um, it's, it's just, it feels right. Mm -hmm. And I think um, that's what we did. So yeah. I'm, yeah, I, I'm good. Well. I saw what I wanted. <laughs> and I talked to him at the end of the couch. All right. Uh, well, I got different advice. Uh -oh. Okay. All right. Talk to me. Because from what I've heard and read, one of the biggest reasons people have problems okay. is money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of the things we have never done is have a joint account. Intentionally. 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 Uh, we split. We, I, I know what I'm making. I know what you're making. Mm -hmm. We know what the bills are. Mm -hmm. So instead of, you know, people say, well, put money into a joint account mm -hmm. and you do it like that. Well, just take that. <laughs> I'll take this. Mm -hmm. right. We didn't have joint credit cards. Nothing. Uh, and it helped because a reason for an argument is why'd you spend this? Right. Mm -hmm. And if you have that constant, why'd you spend this? Why'd you do this? Mm -hmm. You know we ain't got money to do this and this. We, we kind of cut that out in the beginning. Okay. Uh, now, I, my biggest thing that I would give as advice is to make a budget. Mm -hmm. uh, if you make a budget and you stay by that budget, mm -hmm. everything will go smooth. Right. You, you cut out reasons to argue. Right. And if you can cut out reasons to argue along with just being friends, mm -hmm. doing things together, everything will go a lot smoother. Mm -hmm. um, and another thing too is like, sometimes I've heard people say that we've grown apart, mm -hmm. you know, you, as to why relationships fall apart and they're mm -hmm. not working. Oh, we just grew apart. How do you do that? You know, if you intentionally work on your relationship and you do things together, there's no way you can grow apart unless you're trying to live a life outside of the marriage. Mm -hmm. So that's never going yeah. to work. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's just not. Right. Um, so I would advise the young people. Keep a date night. Don't get caught up in what you're doing. Make all your right. all yeah. your date, yeah. all your nights date night. Right. Yeah, yeah especially without kids. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> every night a date night. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nobody yeah. Every Nobody day. Day. Everybody yeah. Day. Yeah. But and you gotta have a date do night. Do it on purpose. Right. Right. You know, yeah. love on purpose. That's good. Yeah. That's good. You start traditions and you keep traditions. That's right. That's right. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yep. I have to tell y'all, y'all have blessed us. Thank y'all well, so much thank you. For, thank you. for agreeing to do this. Um, well, we and, appreciate and being our it. Guests. It's been fun. Yeah. We yeah. have enjoyed you guys. Um, and just a couple things based on that, that money advice, I think that's really important. Mm -hmm. Make sure that uh, for all of our viewers, make sure that you are liking us on social media. Mm -hmm. Of course, go to our Facebook page, Date Night mm -hmm. with the Divines. Um, and on Mondays, we had just started last week, we started Marriage and Money Mondays. And mm -hmm. so we will be sharing tips and oh, bringing yeah. you guests and <laughs> advice. And so that is so very important. So make sure you go to our Facebook page, make sure you share it. If you have liked what you've seen, Continue to be with us every third Monday uh, for Date Night with the Divines and share it. Tell your friends about us um, and, and make sure that you're, you're showing people how important, um, especially uh, date nights are and strong marriages. So with that, I think we are done, darling. All right, we're done. Love you. Love you. <laughs> you can tell Sorry. all that love. <laughs> That's a lot of love. So, so I'm Jamie. And I'm Tamika. And we, we are, are the, the Divines. divines.